Do we get to see Jared Leto's Joker in Birds of Prey? What makes Birds of Prey seem like a combination of the movies Deadpool and Kill Bill? Are all the male characters shown in a negative light in this movie? Greetings, my name is Alcott Scoffer, and today we will give you the answers to the most burning questions about Birds of Prey. Spoiler alert, naturally. <gasps> Do we get to see Jared Leto's Joker in Birds of Prey? Not really. In a way. We do get a glimpse of Jared Leto's version of Joker. But unfortunately, it's not played by Jared Leto. Or fortunately. Anyways, the Joker's presence in this movie feels more like he's an absent father. Fans can get their kick from brief mentions and references, though. Which character deserved more screen time than they got? Huntress. Renee Montoya! We mostly see Huntress in her killer mode. We don't get much time with the woman under the mask, but that's the most interesting part of her. The socially awkward vigilante that practices how to introduce herself to her enemies in front of the mirror? Give me more of that. Renee Montoya reminded me of Jim Gordon! Except she doesn't get a personal Batman to assist her when dealing with crime, and she doesn't get any recognition from her colleagues. I like detectives a lot! Guilty as charged! Are all male characters shown in a negative light? Ah, isn't that the main concern of people that are never bothered by shallow displays of female characters in most movies? Mr. Fully Lover, do you have anything to say about that? Well, Birds of Prey is definitely a very feminist movie, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any positive male characters. For example, one of the main characters, Huntress, was saved and brought up by three mercenaries, who trained her and supported her in her decision to avenge her family. Besides, this movie features two decent villains, Black Mask and Victor Zaz. Yes, yes, they are shown in a negative light. Because they are villains, you know? But they made very interesting movie versions of the comic book characters. What is the best thing about the movie? The characters. Even though Huntress and Montoya didn't get enough screen time, in my humble opinion, the characters are the most satisfying thing about Birds of Prey. Most of them are very well thought through. Some of them are sketchy, but each of them looks memorable and makes the plot work. Action scenes! They are really aesthetic. And yes, many of the fight scenes look cartoonish, but come on, it's a movie based on comics. It's supposed to be that way. Also, the humor is good. The thing about Birds of Prey is that this movie covers serious issues in a very light-hearted manner. Most movies fail in their attempt to do this. But in Birds of Prey, this approach actually works. What is the biggest problem in the movie? A little too much violence? <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Fully Lover. It's a movie about Joker's ex-girlfriend finding her own path. The violence is a must in a movie like that. No, in my opinion, the main problem in Birds of Prey is its narration. But it's fun! It's messy. Since the whole movie gets narrated by Harley herself, the timeline of the movie is disjointed. But it suits Harley's character and personality perfectly. Considering the fact that she is kind of insane, it would be weird if her narration was linear and perfectly in order. What makes Birds of Prey a fusion between the movies Deadpool and Kill Bill? I'll add Shazam to the mix! Yes, Birds of Prey has a bit of a Shazam atmosphere in it. But it mostly feels like Deadpool meets Kill Bill. Except Harley Quinn doesn't try to kill the Joker. And Joker didn't hire anyone to get rid of Harley. But the way Harley narrates the whole movie, the amount of badass women on screen per second, the action scenes, and the way the creators mix disturbingly dark moments with sheer comedy. All of this makes us remember both movies about the Merc with a Mouth, aka Deadpool, and movies about deadly female mercenaries. And that is not to mention that at the end of the second Kill Bill movie, 
Beatrix Kiddo gets her daughter and drives her away. Harley gets her own child at the end of her movie. Well, more like an apprentice, but still, you just cannot miss this reference. Is Birds of Prey worth watching? Oh, yes it is! Isn't it? As a critic, I can say this. Watching Birds of Prey isn't a complete waste of time. And that's more than one can say about most comic book movies.